Oh, 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 yeah. In today's episode, we are doing a fast food restaurant. I do this restaurant about every nine months and eight to nine months. We typically do low moisture. We bring either the swirly or sometimes I'll bring the mighty ECO 14 in. You may have seen previous videos on my business channel. And the last time, I think it was my wife and I that did this, we must have went through about 20 Iron Man pads. And there's so much grease and dirt that gets brought into this place throughout the restaurant. This is the dining area. And the tile needs to be cleaned too, so we're putting a bid in for that to, to get it done this year. But anyway, I decided this time, since last time it took so many pads, to uh, absorb all this soil that uh, I would bring in the Admiral extractor and do a pre-extraction to pull some of the soil out before we put the pad to the carpet. So you'll see the swirly. We'll be doing the extraction with the microfiber scrubbing strips pads, but we're just giving it a once over. But the once over has actually shocked me. <laughs> I cannot believe the, the amount of soil that we're actually picking up. The Admiral Extractor only works at a reverse uh, direction. So it is an eight gallon extractor. It's full of very, very hot water and we pre-sprayed everything. And all you do is you, your front part has a wand on it that is it, it has a kind of a shock absorber. It's mo it moves so it can go up and down, but it will adhere to the carpet really good. And then just behind that or closest to the operator, there's two jets underneath uh, the wand that spray the solution down. You can either hold the trigger or you can put it on continuous spray. As I got further along, I put it on continuous spray, made it a little easier. But you could clearly see, once again, these things are just a mess. They are scheduled probably within about a year, a year and a half for a remodel. And I would imagine most of my fast food clients and restaurants that I do have switched from carpet to tile. And you could see that they have a light carpet, which is actually really ridiculous for a fast food restaurant. But look at what's coming up before we even hit it with the pads. Oh my goodness, come on, folks. Take two seconds out of your busy day and throw a thumbs up. Click that thumbs up. Leave a comment, whatever you wanna say. Even if you just say, what's up, Polly C? It's going to help with the algorithm. Let's get this video up and going so people can see what kind of results you can get. We do have, uh, there's the only one that we wouldn't fit between was this particular one here. It does have the front of the machine. You can hook the hose to it. There's a connection, connection and a water line to put the wand on it if need be. But I think... Uh, the pre-spray is going to break all the soil down anyway. We'll get the swirly and we'll get in and out between the seats there and anywhere else along closer to the walls with the low moisture method. We'll clean it all up. Wowzer, look at that. I mean, this is just the beginning. I'll show you a quick dump. And it's easier to take the machine outside or not the machine but you can take the blue part it lifts off and you take it out to the curb or to a drain and just dump it but i'm going to try and show you a partial here and then i'll show you the full bucket drain outside i'm going to go get my gloves on i forgot to get my gloves on we were just doing a pre-test to see how it would respond to the pre-spray and oh my gosh just everything see look at that oh my goodness all that was in that small section 
I gotta tip the machine back to get the rest of it out. We probably got about eh, two gallons worth just in that small area. So I will, like I said, I'll, I'll show you the, another dump where it's not quite so difficult to do right here. Here's the bucket, we've dumped it outside. Oh my goodness. Whew. And of course the follow-up step with the swirly and the pads. This light carpet, it will show shadows and it will also, believe it or not, it has a distortion with the direction. Or not a distortion, but you know how if you brush a carpet one direction, it's lighter, and then you pull it back the other direction, it's darker. It's kind of what you're seeing here where he went and the passes in different directions. But I can assure you, and you can clearly see, I mean, come on, night and day. Now you can eat here. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It was really bad. There's some shadowing, like I said, along the walls. That's not dirt. And then, of course, where we sprayed heavier is going to appear a little bit darker until it fully dries. The Go Oxy that I used as a booster is a peroxide based brightener so that will continue to oxidize and brighten the carpets as it dries check it out beautiful he'll get in between the seats where most of them i could fit into with the machine without getting the the wand and the attachment this is the tile we're gonna put a bit in for. There is the pads we're using. That is a microfiber scrubbing strip pad. Oh yeah, doing the job. Very, very good. I'll wipe that tile down when he's done with a cloth and I'll show you um, how filthy the tile is. What they do here is, I mean, it's not their fault, it's a restaurant, plus there's a lot of grease. You can see we're at, yes, we're at an Arby's. But uh, they have a deck brush that they use and they spray the tile down and scrub with a deck brush and then mop it up, but it's just not as effective as a, a machine. Either this one, you know, 70 pounds, or my Mighty ECO is probably 115 pounds. Look at that soil we're picking up. So even after the steam cleaning, we're going over it and picking up all that additional soil. I'll wipe this down. You can see how dirty along the tile right there. Some of this I'm not going to get 100% out, but just with a little bit of the over pre-spray, I can wipe it down. And you'll see they're definitely in need of tile service, tile and grout. And if I get the bid for this, which I will, I will bring in the new uh, Grout Hog that I got. It's an Admiral product as, as well. You probably saw, I mean, look at this. Let me flip it over and show you. Look at that soil. That's just off the entry of the door of the or entry to the dining room. So the Grout Hog would be pretty cool. You know, I've, I got the... Admiral Extractor you see us using here. It came with the Admiral Grout Hog, and I got that 39 inch Admiral uh, Windsor, uh, Windsor Wave vacuum cleaner. All three products, I got a great deal. There's the Swirly. Oh yeah, if your service was great, ring the bell. Oh, come on, folks. Was my service great? <laughs> oh yeah hey i wanted to say thanks for everyone who took a few minutes out of their day to watch my video and my other videos and stay tuned i'll uh, be posting more episodes soon